Aaron Livesey. It is alleged that on the 21st day of April 2010, you assaulted Jackson Walsh, thereby occasioning actual bodily harm in accordance with Section 47 of the Criminal Justice Act of 1988. To that charge, do you plead guilty or not guilty? What's he doing here? Mr. Livesey. Guilty. It is our belief that Mr. Livesey deliberately targeted Mr. Walsh, who was the victim of an unprovoked attack, simply because he was homosexual. It wasn't... it wasn't like that. Tell him! Mr. Walsh sustained severe bruising. We therefore feel that a custodial sentence for a crime of this nature would be appropriate. This is all rubbish! Leave it. No, he's my son and he's going to get sent down if he doesn't open his stupid gob. something, Aaron, please, just say it. And Aaron, this is a clear-cut case of a homophobic attack, and this sort of behaviour cannot be tolerated. It wasn't like that. Speak up if you have something to say. I can't. I can't say it. What's he on about? I didn't target him. He came to see me. Excuse me, Mum. In light of the fact that my client has something to add, I would ask for further time to take instructions. No. No, I don't need it. I would advise against saying anything without discussing it with me first. But it's my life. <laughs> and so far, I've made a right mess of it. So I might as well finish the job. came to see me because he thought he thought that we were mates he was in the pub with my friends and my family it just freaked me out I needed to shut him up. So I hit him. But it wasn't like what you said. It wasn't because of what he was. Well, what he is. I swear. I didn't do it. Because he's gay. I did it because I am. I'm gay.
Dad has gone to pick up his car. All oh, right. But you might be getting thirsty. I don't know if you know, but there's uh, these things called taps. You can uh, turn them, and water comes out of them. Don't cost a fortune. <laughs> All right then, Granddad. <laughs> Did you always want to be a farmer? Yeah, I think so. Of course, I decided that in the middle of summer. Well, you're still doing it, so you must be happy. Yeah, most of the time. Apart from the early starts in winter. That's when I want to be a diving instructor in Bali. Oh, Bali. God, I'd love to do that. Yeah, so would I. And then I'd get bored after about a week and I'd want to be back here, wouldn't I? Do you know what? I envy you knowing exactly what you want out of life. I wish I did. Oh, don't be daft doing it young, aren't you? Plenty of time to decide. About a year ago, I thought everything was sorted. Now look at me. Back at my nans, working here. No offence, but it was never part of the plan. It's only temporary, though, isn't it? When you're on here, because Edna asked Moira. It's not exactly your dream, is it? I don't know what it is anymore. Oh, you'll find out sometime. Till then, looks like we're stuck with you, doesn't it? Yeah, and I'm stuck doing the dirty jobs. Right then, better go back and clean that barn. So you don't fancy going the tractor then, eh? Really? Yeah, sure. Okay. Easy to drive. Go on, Mr. Livesey. <laughs> I didn't want to work him. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Mom, I think it's appropriate if we stand the case down for ten minutes. No. No, I don't need it. <sighs> I just thought... that he was going to blurt it out. I thought that's what they did. They made you tell everyone. And if you didn't, then they'd do it for you. But he was different. He was all right. I want... I mean, I wanted to see him. But then when I did, I couldn't handle it. What I was thinking. About him. About me. I hit him. And I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Lucy. Let's stand the case down for ten minutes. All rise. Aaron, let's go and have a chat. <laughs> 